Hello, good morning everybody, or evening, wherever you are. We are in Florida, in Tampa, at the audio show, and we are taking opportunity to talk about the duck. We just had its debut last morning, and uh, so it's the first time that the general public sees our duck. And there are many questions, people visit us, and they inspire us to answer their questions in a, in a video mode, so uh, other potential customers or simply people interested around the world could uh, understand what we are about and why we are so excited about Horizon Duck. It's our flagship, so it took some time to prepare the digital section, analog section, all the functionality, but what was also very important was the looks. Uh, we are not famous for the most uh, uh, attractive Italian style of design, so our previous uh, products were always kind of Spartan kind of um, form follow function uh, in a kind of industrial design and people like it and it became our our hallmark our uh, unique um, unique look so we didn't want to change the general style of the of the new housing we wanted to maintain the uh, spartan and industrial look while giving you some hint of luxury and very good and, and, and strong, robust engineering that will provide a lifetime service and that will make you proud owner and it will also break your back. I'm sorry, it's a very heavy product. Uh, so we started from uh, abandoning steel altogether and abandoning all the metal bending. So it's all CNC. We started using big slabs of aluminum and then designing all the cutting and polishing and, and CSE routing and, and, and creating new surfaces uh, and it required uh, changing the design from single piece design to a total design so you design all the elements including electronics, tubes, screws, everything is designed in one file in AutoCAD and then you can put it together and then you can blow it expand uh, the, your, 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 your drawing and then concentrate on aluminum, concentrate on, on PCBs, transformers, cables, uh, sockets, everything is in, the, in one design. So when it comes together it fits and our, our um, the, the, the precision in our system is 0.01 millimeter, so one hundredth of a millimeter which is about uh, thickness of uh, one quarter of human hair. Uh, that, that's that's the, taller, the, the, the precision or the grid on which we operate while moving every component and trying to put them together and, sit it and see if they fit. And they do fit, so at the end there are no surprises, everything must fit and there are no collisions between capacitor and uh, another uh, capacitor or, or a tube and uh, the chassis. Uh, th th this precision allows us to build things in, in a virtual world and then even we can rotate it in three dimensions and see uh, where is the ventilation and, and at, at every given moment we can see the weight of the product depending on how much aluminum we extract by rooting. So these slabs are one, one inch thick slabs of aluminum. Uh, one consists, uh, there are six of them, so the front, the top, two sides and the back and the bottom. And perhaps the most important parts uh, are the invisible ones, which is the bottom. Uh, what is new that uh, unlike in our previous products we don't place PCBs on, uh, on standing supporting uh, these little stands so that PCB is not flexing in a way from vibration or, or um, any force. Uh, instead we mill the, 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 the place for a PCB as a frame within the one inch thick floor plate. That means that the PCB will sit in that hole, in that cavity, and the whole perimeter, the whole um, area around the PCB is supported equally, lying on hard aluminum. So there is no um, force or no vibration which can flex the PCB in any measurable way. That gives them very quiet and very um, uh, vibration-free operation mode. So even the legs and footers and, and, and supporting stand is not so important. No matter how much the stand will vibrate, the PCBs will be in a quiet environment, mechanically speaking. Uh, so this is a very big advancement for us. And every component which we put inside a duck is supported on that, in that mode. So transformers, relays, 
power supplies, PCB, digital PCB, volume control, all the cabling and cable canals are rooted and milled inside the aluminum, uh, solid brick of aluminum, so to speak. And then another uh, new feature is that we completely abandoned um, the anodizing. Uh, in in, in uh, our opinion, uh, the, the finish that we provide now is much more stable. Is uh, its longevity is uh, practically infinite. And you can you can clean it, you can polish it, you can wipe it with alcohol, you can wipe it with water, with soap and no soap or with window cleaner. Doesn't matter. It's not going to be affected in any way. There are no fingerprints. Uh, there are no um, aging um, indicators. So it, ten years from now, it will look identical with identical color, identical uh, writing, and. Uh, uh, we believe that this is a, a, a beginning of a new era where this new um, uh, oven oven baked powder coating with Teflon uh, um, with Teflon uh, granules within the paint uh, give us the best performance and um, Actually, I was I was worried that people are so attached to anodizing that they will react badly, but so far all the reactions are very positive and people say wow this looks super cool super professional and probably in the future we will try to experiment with different colors at the moment it's it's a charcoal black which is most attractive and uh, and easy to um, combine with different colors of the top plate because the, this top plate which is the the, the, the cover of the uh, tube section and the shield from electromagnetic fields this, this copper plate can be had in uh, any color we want. So it's the only customization color that we will allow, giving us a possibility to have black or natural copper or, or deep red or any other choice of the customer. So this plate on the top will be replaceable and uh, it can be had in a, any finish imaginable. We will be very open to experiment with attractive finishes that the body which is the very hard uh, block of that feels almost like a solid uh, uh, stone uh, this is uh, just one color uh, it is a very attractive feature uh, that many people um, appreciate that our duck is made without screws so there are no visible screws anywhere on the top on, on behind on the bottom anywhere uh, so not only there are no screws visible, but those that do hold the piece together are invisible. They are covered by the footers, by the so-called legs. So you have to gain access to the bottom, remove the legs, and then you will gain access to the big pins that hold the whole piece together. And after uh, the, um, unscrewing the pins, the chassis will open and it, we will gain access to servicing or replacing uh, I don't know a damaged panel or replacing um, a module inside. So it is it is very easy, very quick. It's uh, service friendly, but to the to the naked eye, it's invisible and and completely concealed. Um, it is especially in contrast to our previous designs, where screws were not only visible but they were exposed, and we were proud of, of our nuts and bolts making the, the industrial uh, look um, very distinct. So I hope you, you like it, it's simplicity, it's proportions, it's golden ratios everywhere, and, uh, and uh, I think it's a timeless look that will look as good in 10 years from now or 20 years from now. Uh, it will not become uh, obsolete uh, because it, we're not following any short, uh, short legged fashion. Um, the, the unit has the same size as our, our previous flagship Pacific. So in order to keep the same uh, flight case and the same shelf space and the same requirements for, for um, uh, assembly, we decided to keep exactly the same dimensions as Pacific, uh, even though uh, the, the, the different design makes it look slightly different. So some people th uh, look on, on the picture and they think it's a small unit, it is not small, it's as big as we can get away with. If we could get away 
with a bigger sh chassis, we would use a bigger chassis because internally it's completely filled and uh, there is no space for anything more. Uh, therefore, uh, we measured uh, the biggest components on the market where, which people accept and we took the biggest dimension of the biggest components available, uh, not counting, of course, the VAC statement amplifier. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will talk about the interna internal circuits of our DAC. Thanks.